Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What I'm about to talk about today is absolutely hilarious and I can't quite believe what's happened. So in a place called Scotland, they live up north to England if you've not heard of them, part of the UK. A great bunch of people with, you know, an, ex an impressive accent to say the least. Now I'm actually Scottish myself but I'm going to stop speaking like a Scotsman. Police were called basically to an immersive Willy Wonka experience after families showed up to an empty warehouse. They charged £40, it would have been pounds, not dollars, you idiot, you idiot. Advertised with AI art, said it would be journey filled with wondrous creations, enchanting surprises at every turn. Kids dressed up and were crying waiting outside because they thought it was going to be magical. <laughs> No, we shouldn't laugh at poor little kids because I know that's horrible. You you get so excited and it's ruined. But this has got to be one of the biggest pranks of the year. I mean, of my lifetime. So they used AI art that made it look like this, which looks really cool. You see that and you go, oh, it's not going to look like that. But my kids will have a great time looking at all the art and that's what it looked like. <laughs> That is the immersive experience. They've just put some shroomies out, a couple candy canes, a few weird shaped trees. Imagine the guys who did this. They go, oh yeah, so we, we basically scammed a bunch of people, pretended, but we've actually had real interest. What do you mean real interest? Well, about 200 people have signed up. 200 fucking people! We've not even got a venue! We've not even got a warehouse! So they bought a warehouse, jumped on Facebook Marketplace or eBay, on the cheapest looking funky little mushrooms they can. Look, they look like they've been stolen outside of kids' playground. Like, what is that shit? So is the BBC report the police were called to the Willy Wonka event after refunds were demanded. I mean, look at that. The poor children. They described it as a Willy Wonka experience and the families were obviously pissed off because that is what they got. Look at the tables and chairs. Look at the... They brought out a fucking bouncy castle. <laughs> Oh, what, what horrible people. You know, we can laugh because it is funny when it doesn't happen to you, but if the, you took your kids there and promised them, oh my God, you're going to have an amazing time. You're going to see Willy Wonka. You're going to have loads of chocolate, loads of sweets. And you got there and the chairs were from your grandma's attic. You would be slightly concerned. You'd be like, okay, maybe there's a secret room. You know, Willy Wonka's house had loads of mysteries, secret doors, secret pictures. You want. No, bro, no. This is what you get. I mean, it is just, look at that bag of pick -a mix I mean, that looks like it's deflated just as much as the people who have had to come and visit it are. They've added a rainbow color fucking arch just to make sure that the you know lgbtq plus plus minus divided and times all feel included you got winnie the pooh at the bottom because you know why the hell not a 19 year old attended the event well i think there's your problem right there which 19 year old is attending a willy wonka themed kids party hold of discounted tickets well that's a surprise they were already selling discounted tickets it was basically advertised as this big willy wonka experience with optical illusions big chocolate fountains and sweets look at you look at your sweets go and have a bite of that and tell me how plastic tastes Oh dear. Organisably note in Jan described to Charlie in the chocolate theme part his dreams become reality. There's your dream, my friend. <laughs> Oh, we got a bouncy castle, though. Oh, do you, do you want to go to bouncy castle? I oh, want some chocolate. Sorry, just go on a fucking bouncy castle for 10 minutes while I beat the shit out of this fucking guy. So, I mean, you know what I mean? She she went there. Big experience with optical illusions, chocolate fountains and sweets. She's been robbed. She's been absolutely robbed. Spoke to people who travelled from Aberdeen, Dundee. So that's a long way. Even Newcastle. Newcastle. Newcastle, bro. Up the tune. It's great, but it's not close to Scotland. You know what I mean? Like, it's a good hour and a bit, probably. I mean, you know, it depends. Where, it's probably not far from the border, but I don't think this was just on the you know on the border she heard nothing from the company and that she was not hopeful she'd get her money back i'm not surprised you know what i mean they were late and it's actually the one time in you know, your life you probably thank your parents for being late it's like at least you didn't have to look at it at least you didn't have to pretend you were interested in this shit candy cane and this fucking make-believe bouncy castle it got shut down so 36 pounds for tickets her eight-year-old lady but they've left the venue frustrated she loves the books and was looking forward to that look i feel horrible for the kids like it's horrible absolutely horrible you should have done a bit more fucking research if you're applying for anything on facebook or on line or whatever a lot of customer complaints yeah i fucking bet there was so these poor kitty winks were all in tears and look if i took my nieces to this you'd feel absolutely continue reading the article and pay mate this is why news articles are dying bro they are dying just dropping dead because who's gonna pay i just want to have a look at the pictures bro guess what i managed to find the artificial intelligence website look at this so we can actually go on oh you can't book anymore not found but they actually took down the website it's very mature of them considering i mean if you saw that though you'd think that looks cool as shit i know it's not gonna look like that but i bet my kid would love but that's just so ai isn't it i mean oh, i'm not a clever man but i can tell you now in the imagine prepared to captivate visual spectacles so they've even got little locations the twilight tunnel Ooh, wow these people have been absolutely held at gunpoint mate this is red dead redemption 2 you've gone up to someone put the gun in their face robbed them and said ah never mind and then still robbed them anyway because you are that much of a thug so it was in glasgow and it said it would take in 45 minutes to an hour they couldn't even i'm shocked that this went on for so long how did they not think it's like right guys we kind of got in 
to a little bit of shit here. We are, you know, stuck. We got a lot of people coming, paying 40 pounds. How could you live with this? I'm not being funny, but how could you? Oh, look, see, it's all the same thing. I'm clicking the different options that they take you to it. But how could you live with yourself and do this? I'd feel horrible. Like, tricking an adult is one thing. Like, that might be funny. But then for them adults to bring their kids. Oh, bro, I couldn't live with myself, mate. I'd feel horrid. I'd feel so bad. Like, you charge these poor kids. Well, the parents' money, whatever. Like, don't get me wrong, that's bad. But the actual kids were getting excited. It's like they dressed up as Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory. Emotional damage! And they got there, and well... Yeah, what what did they get in return? Sweet FA, they got a shitty bouncy castle. I mean, this website's dog shit. I'm trying to have a look and it's just broken like Enchanted Garden. Oh, mate, oh, mate this is honestly one of the funniest live performances. Karchi tons, Exaster Dre lollipops, Pizzad Dice of Sweet Teat. You know, firstly, do you think that's meant to be spelling mistakes? I feel like that should be a warning. I feel like it's meant to be, but if I went there, I'd be like, who the fuck is spelling shit like this? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, will you try? Did you end up going to the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory limited edition experience for £40 and get mugged off and your kids were in the car crying and you ended up looking like you'd just been to your friend's, you know, sixth birthday party or something like that and the parents had a budget of £12? You know, nothing wrong with it. We've all been to them, all right? It's not a complaint. I'm sure I had many myself. But that, my friend, I mean, they put up a brick wall in the middle of, like, the, the warehouse to try hide how biggie and shitty it is. Oh, God, man. I feel horrible for the kids, for the adults. Ha, ha, ha. That's fucking hilarious hilarious man i bet they've had a lot of complaints uh you know sorry to the little girl here who looks like a ghost and she's been petrified she's got some sick sketches on though so rock and roll this lady here sh probably should not be visiting a chocolate factory but hey ho and it's not because she's like no all right i meant because she's old all right fuck's sake i've dug myself a hole there anyway i'm off to go get me grandma's chairs back and put down the bounty castle because this was me <laughs> I tricked you all and now I'm rich. I had cameras stashed all over watching all the little kids cry and get sad and it's... <laughs> I'm evil. Evil! No, but seriously, if you've actually been to this, I want to know. Comment down below and let me know what it was like. Is it as good as it looked? Was it an absolute belter? I just want to say thank you so much for watching this. This is, you know, sorry to the kids, but to the adults, this is just funny, bro. I'm laughing at you idiots, but imagine all the kids outside crying, like, oh. <laughs> no, that's horrible to think about. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny, you know, it's kind of funny. I don't know, it's kind of funny. But anyway, guys, I salute you. You can't see it, but thank you so much. Loving the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and yeah, see you guys in the next one.